Today's generation, especially those working in urban areas like Kampala, is a busy one. Many people juggle multiple jobs in the drive to make ends meet. This has had a tremendous impact on lifestyles, altered the structure of a family as we know it, and reduced the time people spend together. Most families have house helps to assist with daily chores and to mind the children. But when illness strikes, a house help sometimes falls short. This means that the family members who may be shouldering the financial burden of the sick also have to look after them. This is where Link Bedside Nurses comes in. Hired as a professional caregiver, Helen Kobujenyi has been nursing her client in Kasangati, a suburb in Wakiso district, for two weeks now. Kobujenyi and her client get along so well that it is hard to notice that she is just a service provider. You have to be, um, to, to love, care, serve. Kobujenyi has been at the job for close to five months. For her, it's about being able to practice her profession. And before that, uh, it takes like heart. Uh, I, I, I like it, you know. Just like any other job, one can be deployed at home or in a hospital, and the time for which a nurse can stay is dependent on the client's call. Kobujenyi admits that she eventually gets attached to the patient, which makes her work easy. Like you feel like uh, it's my mother, it's my father, it's my sister, it's my brother, so you do it with all of your heart, uh, like all heartedly, that that patient at least one day will wake up, one day you will laugh together, you, you know, you will enjoy. So if, if he doesn't make it really feel bad. However, Kobjenyi says she also encounters some challenges at her place of work. Those bedridden patients, sometimes they have mood swings. You, you want to, to give him medicine, he's like, no, I don't want medicine. Other people, when they look at you like, I'm a woman, if I come to another home, then a wife to that home will not, like, will, non, will have a, another perception. The idea of bedside nurses is the brainchild of Martin Mugume. His own personal experience opened his eyes to the opportunity. I had uh, a very close friend of mine who was admitted at Nsambia Hospital. So that patient, I happened to take care of her for the, for the three months she was admitted in the hospital. So it was very daunting, it was very hectic. And, uh, and uh, I, I felt I would require a nurse to take care of that patient. He says he only recruits qualified nurses because of the kind of clientele that demand for the services. They are registered with different councils. So they are monitored by the councils, by the nursing councils, in and around. So by employing them, they offer compassionate uh, nursing care. Clients pay between 30,000 to 100,000 shillings per day for the services, but Mugume also ensures that his nurses work in a safe environment. Mugume says that the business is picking up, but would one set aside the familiarity of a relative and readily accept the services of professional caregivers? Various researchers have shown that people living in low-income countries spend a lot of time nursing the sick and this in turn affects productivity. In the developed world, bedside care is considered a fact of life and an obvious choice for those who can afford it. Up to 15,000 people leave this country annually to look for jobs abroad, some of which include bedside nursing like Helen is doing here. But according to Martin Mugume, who started up this idea, this is not just about employing people, but it's also extending health services to your home. Walter Mwesije, NTV.